my name is Talisha Sparkles, and today I'm reacting to Hit 'em Up Style by Blue Kentrell. The album was so blue. B L U, Blue Kentrell. And the year the album was released, 2001. So, before we get into that, I just want to say that I recently lost my mom. She passed, hence to why it's been so long I posted here, you know. But I'll repeat to my mom. I'll repeat to my mom. If it wasn't for my mom, I would not be here talking to y'all about music, dancing in this camera, and all that. If it wasn't for the way she talked about music to me. I know I've mentioned her in the past few of my videos before. And how she would talk to me um, about music. So, I'll repeat to my mama. I love you. Let's go. While he was scheming, I was dreaming in the beamer, just scheming. Can't believe that I called my man cheating. So I found another way to make him pay for it all. So I went to Neiman Marcus on a shopping spree. And on the way, I grabbed Sully and Mia. And as the cash box rang, I now, threw everything away. Real quick. There goes the dream for you I don't remember say. watching this video at all when it came out. I don't. So the whole time when she said Soli and Mia, I'm hearing the song, but I'm thinking she's saying her kids on the way I picked up Soli and Mia. Like she picked them up from school or some shit. I never knew she was talking about her friends. Old girl with the bag, hold on. Y'all seen that shit? Ow! Old girl in the red. <laughs> Yo! Baby girl shook that shit off though, hold on. <laughs> Bow! She smacked the shit out of her with that bag. Reaper. She going to jail And it's all on camera We can see her clearly You know what I'm saying Doing what she doing She's selling She going to jail This furniture when she's sitting right here. For me to say that is important. Like it's colorful. Like it's easy for cribs like that to look gloomy and boring. The rug, the couches, the style of the furniture is nice. I know I say that a lot. But I do. I like that type of furniture. Don't do this. All of the dreams you Don't do this. Okay? If you do it, don't sell anything. Just give it away. You know what I'm saying? Give it away. Your nephew fly as hell in high school. They beating his ass over that Prada sweater. And you done gave it. Babe, you seen my sweater? I don't know. Flip the couch. 
over. I don't know, I ain't seen it, babe. Cause you done gave this shit away to your nephew. I'm selling. Okay. So while he was I demon, never I, I only play this song low or medium. Medium so low. I never blast this ever. I never blast this. So I went and I'm gonna tell you why. So South Side of Chicago, 74th and Cottage to be exact. 74th and Cottage Grove. My daddy was always south for the most part of my life. And my mom was west. Um, I was about 9 or 10 years old. And this guy named Dwight, who was gay, would come to my dad and sell him things. Antique furniture. Um, jewelry. Refrigerator. That's pretty much what everybody did. But this one guy, he would he would be like a reoccurring person that came in, and um, every time he came around, he would speak to me, and he would be like, "Hey, Miss Talisha, you know, real extra," and I'd be like, "Hey, the way." <laughs> And he'll be like, every time, he'll be like, how you doing? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm fine. You know, I'm 9, 10, so I don't really know how to answer that question ever. Still, you know. What do you want to start at? You feel me? He like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm fine. And I'm like, where your mama at? Because they was always together, him and his mama. Every time I seen him. And um, she was, he was like, this time she didn't come in. I guess she was, you know, whatever. He was like, she out there in the car, you know, because we cool like that. He was like, she out there in the car. So I head out to the car so, so I could say, hey. Now, back in June, July, it used to be cold, okay? Not fur coat cold, but you need a jacket, you need a hoodie. And it's windy, right? So I get out there, she got her windies, windows cracked. And all that. Hey, Miss Connie. I called her Miss Connie. And she was like, you know, hey, baby, you know, she invited me in. Come on in. Whoop de woo. Now, <laughs> walk with me, y'all. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm getting to it. Uh, she got the, the music. It's down. It's on low, though. But it's enough where you can hear everything, you can hear all the words. Even if you're having a conversation with somebody, it's that low. It's not super low. And we talking, you know. So Garrett's popcorn is a thing, you know what I'm saying, in Chicago. She got this big canteen of Garrett's popcorn. And um, she's so shady for this. Hold on. So. She got a canteen of Garrett's popcorn. You know what I'm saying? You can get three different versions. Whatever. You know, if you know, if you know, you know. Google it. So, she popped the top open on the popcorn, right, while we sitting there. Um, just chopping it up, talking about whatever. She was like, look. And when she said, look, she, like, put one of the popcorns on her tongue. You know, if you stick a popcorn on your tongue, it's not going to go away. It's not going to move. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm nine, ten, so this is fascinating to me. This is a new skill, you know what I'm saying? And I'm happy about it. So I'm flapping the. I'm like, ooh, you know, I want to do it. So she like, yeah, you know, she offering me the popcorn or whatever. So I'm doing it. I'm banging this lady popcorn, y'all. I even put the little mirror flap down in the car, or whatever. Like, study doing it. Ooh, like, you know, just practicing my new skill, all kind of ways I can do it. So the whole time this is happening, it was two songs that played. It was Aaliyah, I Care For You. And then it was Blue Cantrell, Hit Em Up Style. It was this song right here. 
And um, that was the amount of time I was in the and I'll never forget it. Again, it's some light. You know, that one those super big, stupid new story of something happening. But whenever I think about this song, I always think about that moment because it was so sunny. It was June. I remember the, the month. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? That's why I never blast this song, ever. I'll never blast this song. It'll always be on low or like medium low. You know what I'm saying? And I love it just like that. I don't even want it like it's annoying if I blast it. Like, it's like that for me. It's, it's annoyingly deep. I didn't have this album or anything like that, but she kept the same energy. Blue Cantrell kept the same energy on this whole album. You know, you got me twisted, heartbreak type of song. I have two songs from this album. This So Blue album on my playlist. Y'all got something y'all want to say about Blue Cantrell in the comments as far as put me on. Put me on because I love music. But that don't mean I'm up on everything all the time. I be late. And I be early. While he was scheming, I was I'm a beat up. The just I'm not really going to shuck and jive for y'all today. I ain't going to dance or like that. That's all I got. <laughs> I be trying to chill sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Everything. Uh, you know, public service announcement. Um, the summer gonna get whatever body I give it. You know, that's what it is. Until the end. That's where we at. I love myself. Like I never have. Before. And uh, we working on it. You know what I'm saying? These things like time. If y'all don't know who the Michelin Man is, just Google him real quick. Um, all right. Well, consider subscribing. If you like the video, like the video. Comment a comment. Again, my name is Talisha Sparkles. I want to thank y'all for watching me. I'm out. Michelin Man on three, y'all. One, two, three. Michelin Man. <laughs>